Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. of a woman found shot to death just feet from her front door. Ashley Burton's body was found in the breezeway of her building at City Park Apartments. This is right off of Fairburn Road in Atlanta. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live at the complex right now. Cody? Ron, Jennifer, it's been almost 48 hours since Ashley was shot here behind me and her killer has yet to be caught. Not long ago, her cousin told me whoever did this was close to Ashley. Why her? Why would it be somebody who's trying to make it, who's trying to better herself, who's trying to do right by people, who's trying to help? Why? Ivory Carter says her cousin moved to Atlanta to make a better life for herself. She was very known for doing hair and makeup. She was a hair and makeup artist. Any ambitions Ashley Burton had for her future were abruptly ended on April 11th. She ran out the house hollering and screaming, beating on doors. Ashley was running for her life. But this got to be personal because you shot her in her house. Then you followed her outside and shot her. Ivory says she can't imagine why anyone would want to kill her cousin. She don't put herself in them type of environments. That's why it's so, it's, that's why it's like, I'm clueless to how. It was always positive people. But something very dark happened behind this crime scene tape on Wednesday. Atlanta police describing it as a domestic-related shooting. Ivory says regardless of who pulled the trigger. I just want justice for my cousin. She doesn't want Ashley's story to go untold. I'm tired of all these incidents of trans women just being pushed up under the rug. We are human beings, too. Ivory says whoever took Ashley's life also took her cell phone. She's just asking anyone who knows who killed her cousin to do the right thing and come forward. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.